All right, we're gonna make some yogurt. Um, do you know the easiest way to make yogurt is if you already have some made and you add a couple of teaspoons in each container and you put what we call half and half in the US, which is half whole milk, half heavy cream. Um, it's an even mix. And if you're in a UK or Australia, um, places like that where they don't have this, uh, you can mix up your own, which is whole, whole milk, organic whole milk. Make sure there's nothing in it. Um, and then you can easily make yogurt from this. So um, the yogurt I make is, um, I follow the uh, Dr. Davis's uh, Super Gut. It's a great book. It's really eye-opening. Kind of learns about the gut and how important it is. But today I'm going to be making some bee coagulants, which is a very good um, yogurt. Well, yogurt, right? Um, bacteria that does that lives uh, in your gut and is very good about inflammation um, and um, arthritis. It really does help a lot with that. So, I already have some made here. Um, it's a little older, not older, but so I'm gonna grab a couple of teaspoons from that and I'm gonna dump this in here. Do the same without making a mess. It's the hardest thing to do. Master mess maker. There we go. Add that in here. So it's a little runny. Um, this yogurt uh, always is a bit runny. Okay, got that. I'll come back to this. So we have our half and half. Like I said, this is half whole milk, half heavy cream. And all we do is um, we just pour in half of this here. Some more in here. I apologize if the camera's a little off. I'm just doing my best to make sure I get it even as much as possible. And okay, there's that. Okay, that's complete. Just uh, put these on, and if you're wondering, this yogurt maker, um, you may have to burp this a little bit. It gets air trapped in, so you just kind of slowly lift that up. Uh, I use the Ultimate brand. Um, these are these are great. So let's um, now I'm going to move this over here to where I'm actually going to cook it. I'm going to put water in, and I'll show you how to do the uh, uh, the setup. Okay, now. We are going to add our water. And so what this does is, this is gonna heat up um, the water to the same degree that you want your yogurt cooked at. Now each of these uh, bacteria I use, they have a preferable um, temperature. Let's see, is that over? So you wanna make sure it's just a wee bit over um, the line you have for your milk to make sure the whole thing is cooked. You don't want to fill it up completely, but if it's over, which looks like I've done, that's okay. All right, so we're going to put the top on, make sure it goes on like that. And so for B coagulants, what we're going to do, <coughs> apologize there, um, the preferable temperature for this is between 116 to 122 degrees. So we're gonna go the median and go with 118. Now we're gonna cook this for 36 hours. You're like, why do you cook it for 36 hours? Because we, we want the maximum replication that we can possibly get with this yogurt. And so if you think about it, that the yogurt replicates and doubles, I mean, not the yogurt, but the bacteria which is what you want. It doubles every, I think it's every three hours. So um, when it gets to that point, so if you say like three, 
turns to 6, which turns to 12, which turns to 24. Um, if you go from the billions there, and once it gets to like the hour of 30, 33, to 36, it's in the trillions. That's it. So, 36 hours later, um, we will be coming back and checking out our yogurt. And now this one, the Big Coagulans, um, does never make kind of like freakish yogurt for me. It's always a little bit of, you have a little bit of weight, but that's okay. So we'll see you in 36 hours. But with YouTube, it'll be like a second. All right, so this is one uh, that we made yesterday. This one is El Um And this is by far, if you only eat one yogurt, this is the one that you want to eat, this strain. Um, it is the most beneficial of any bacteria I have ever found. Um, not only will it straighten your gut out, and I mean straighten it out within like a few days, uh, maybe a week. Um, there's a lot of amazing benefits of it that I've found. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I gotta say my life has dramatically been improved after eating this um, for a week. And I'm not for a week, for months now. So it does make pretty good yogurt. Um, this one makes uh, like very Greek style yogurt. Um, thick uh, there's like a little bit of whey and it tends to do really well after you've made the initial uh, batch of yogurt and I'll show you how to do that as well if you're starting from scratch um, but yeah this the benefits of this are uh, unbelievable especially like if you if you struggle with um, you know small intestinal bacteria overgrowth or small intestinal uh, fungal over overgrowth which like most Americans have because of crap that we eat um so this uh does a great job of like straightening out that gut pushing back um those uh e coli and other nasty things that start kind of piling up from the, the large intestine up until your small intestine which gives you a lot of the issues and poison that you get throughout your body but one of the benefits that i found was I got immediately got like really good gum health. I was having some issues with my gums, but after a week taking this, and you eat a half, no, a half a cup, right? A half a cup, I don't know what that is in milliliters. Um, luckily my wife uh, has this hitting handy. So a half a cup uh, is about, what are we talking about? Maybe about 150 milliliters? Yeah, about. Anyway, just do the, just do the uh, calculations on those. So anyway, um, I got really good gum health. Um, my gut was completely straightened out. Um, I got very deep sleep, uh, meaning like I would go to sleep and I would feel rested when I got up. Um, that was after maybe about after a week or two. Other benefits that I got, um, my brain just like went hyperactive. Not hyperactive in a bad way, but um, I really think that some of the some of the small intestinal bacterial overgrowth and some of the fungal overgrowth after that was pushed back in a lot of those um, horrible um, side effects and poisons were pushed out of my body. Um, it directly impacted my brain in a way, in a very good way. Um, it's almost like you kind of wake up after a, a groggy sleep. Like it's, um, the brain's on fire. And it's like, I, I feel like I have more brain power now than I did in my 20s. And I'm 50, 54 years old, almost. <laughs> this next month, I turn 54. So um, I don't know if that was pushing back some of the uh, issues with maybe possibly dementia. I may have had some of that uh, early onset dementia. It may have, may have come. I'm not sure. Um, never been tested, so I don't know. This is all just anecdotal um, evidence, just for me. So anyway, the, I, I haven't had any um, side effects with it. And if you take like a lot of supplements, it might might have some issues. My mother's taking this, and my uh, stepfather's taking it, and um, they have some bloating, um, so that's possible. Um, within the first week, um, I did have like. It was a little difficult a few hours after I ate this. Um, and, um, but after the first week, um, I was good. So, um, oh, 
here's another thing, empathy. So this is, uh, El Ridri in particular is what's kind of called the love bug. So your empathy and the oxytocin that it produces in your brain is gonna dramatically increase. Um, so I was not really a very empathetic person. I just didn't have the ability to be empathetic to other people. It's not like I didn't want to. I didn't want to care. I just, I just couldn't. Um, but this is, I tell you, it's weird. Dramatically increased that. So, and just by making yogurt and eating it. So, um, it was, honestly, it's been life-changing for me. And um, I wanted to share this with y'all because, you know, if something has changed my life for the better, then I certainly want to spread that on and maybe help y'all as well. All right, thanks for watching. Y'all take care. All right, so we have three different types of yogurt in here. We have the El Ruderich, um, the B Coagulans, and we also have El KCI. <coughs> and we have a healthy, <laughs> probably too much, but anyway, I love granola. So this is a grain-free granola. First time I'm trying this, I'm pretty excited about it. I love granola, but I don't want wheat. So, and I also have honey. So some of the yogurt, the uh, B Coagulans has more of like a whipped cream taste kind of weird but the rude ride and the casey i also are they're a little tart so um you can put a little bit of honey on there or a lot in my case unfortunately um and uh it really improves the taste and so you eat a half a cup of each um uh, to get the maximum benefit from that or, or you know what would we see like 150 milliliters um of that and then um coupled with our uh red mulberry tea it's not a bad way to um, start your day. And what you'll actually notice is that when you eat something like this, probably with a little bit less uh, granola and honey, if you're health conscious, unfortunately I'm not, um, you will uh, probably not be hungry for a while. Um, this does tend to fill you up. So if you have troubles with um, eating breakfast and then you end up being hungry like an hour or two later, you are not going to have that with this yogurt. So even me with my... Um, voracious appetite um i'm good till lunchtime so all right thank you enjoy